First, gather all of your appropriate materials needed, including thermoplastic, a retractable knife, scissors, a pencil, a pattern if you are using one, a towel, Velcro, hook, and soft, soft straps, stockinette, a ramp for posi positioning the patient, padding for bony prominences, and pin cleaning materials if the injury is post-operative. Next, if you have a pattern, you can cut it out and trace it onto the thermoplastic, or you can trace the patient's hand and forearm without using a pattern. Heat the material up in the splint pan while ensuring your patient is in the proper position before beginning to fabricate. Next, make sure your patient is in the proper position, including the thumb, before starting to fabricate. As you begin to make your adjustments, make sure the DPC is cleared to allow for digit active range of motion, and make sure the orthosis does not come up too high on both sides of the forearm or the patient will slip in and out of the orthosis. Begin to make your adjustments. Use your pencil to help mark off where you would like to make these adjustments. While fabricating the orthosis, let gravity assist you and place the patient's forearm into supination. This will make your life a lot easier while fabricating the orthosis. Make sure the thumb MP joint is blocked and fully supported before anything else. This is the most important part of the orthosis, so you want to make sure it fits properly and the thumb has enough support. You then can use your palm and the web space of your hand to smooth out the rest of the orthosis along the forearm. Pull the thermoplastic material around the thumb into a loop while making sure the IP joint is free from movement. You can stick the two ends of the loop together or wait till the very end to make sure that you have made all of your adjustments prior to attaching the ends. As you continue to make your adjustments, make sure your edges are rounded to ensure comfort for the patient. You always want to make sure the material is not too hot before applying back onto your patient. And like stated before, the most important part of this orthosis is ensuring that the thumb has enough support. Now that your orthosis has molded to the patient's hand and forearm how you would like, start to make your smaller adjustments. You can either use your heat gun or dip the orthosis back into the splint pan for this. Rounding the top portion of the thumb where the IP is free to move is one tip that I suggest for the extra comfort for the patient. You want the patient moving his or her IP while in this orthosis. You can also round the top portion where the DPC is cleared in order to ensure comfort for the other digits. Finally, flare out the proximal portion of the orthosis so the material is not digging into the patient's forearm. Next, apply your hook Velcro onto the orthosis. You should have at least three straps, 
one around the thumb if needed for support. Apply the Velcro using heat. It will help the Velcro stick onto the thermoplastic easier. Once your hook Velcro is applied to the orthosis, don the orthosis onto the patient and start applying the soft strapping, ensuring it fits the patient correctly and securely. I like to round the edges of the soft Velcro for comfort. Once you are done strapping, have the patient practice donning and doffing the orthosis to make sure they know how to do it correctly.